Welcome to PCView Solutions Tutorials. Here is PCView's workspace. It contains the graphical elements and all the tools you'll need to develop a project, including various toolbars. Each of those toolbars can be dragged and docked to any outside edge of the workspace, or even left floating anywhere on the screen. This feature can be very helpful in design mode. Let's open the Application Explorer. The Application Explorer is a helpful configuration tool, including test and diagnostic features. The Communication section defines the way to acquire the data from the field. There are several communication methods possible within PC View, including the Industrial Communication Standards OPC, many native drivers and equipment, and specific standards for IEC for electrical management or Lawnworks and BachNet for building management systems. The Variables section defines the way the data is organized. It is the core of PC View containing a set of tags called variables. The variable tree organizes data in a hierarchical manner using a branch structure. For example, to create a real-time database for a simple building management system, you would just enter each element of your physical process as a branch. So let's imagine a building and create a new branch. Okay, great. So now, let's define a new branch for a floor within this building. And finally, let's create a branch for a light that's on floor 1 within building 1. Once the structure is defined, you can add your variables. And PC View supports three types of variables. Bit for digital value, register for analog value, and text for text value. The light is controlled with a bit. Enter the name of the variable, for example, on, off. As we're going to control the light from the HMI, we must set the command property. This is used to determine whether a variable can be set by PC View or not. As you can see, the bit dialog has other configuration tabs, including source to define the way the value is obtained. So our PC View project uses internal variables rather than a variable supplied by an equipment type, such as a PLC. And that's it. Our first variable has now been created. It would additionally be beneficial to get the duration of use for this light. So let's create a register variable. As you can see, the register dialog contains specific fields, including unit, format, and min and max values. Now let's create a new variable to reset the time. We want to be able to control this variable to initialize the time. Again, the command property must be set. The time variable will be used as a chronometer to count the time for which the light is in use. It's possible to add a behavior to this variable. Events can trigger a program, an email, or even an SMS. Thresholds, chronometer, and counter. Let's create a chronometer. And we'll add a period. Select the type like incremental. Then select our triggering bit. That is the command bit for the light. and then select the initialization bit reset. Here it is. Our new variable time has now been configured as a chronometer with the following properties listed below. The next step is to show how we display the data by setting up drawing elements and animations. First of all, we're going to create a new mimic and you can select a template as a background for a mimic from the large library provided within PC View. Select the template you want to use from the template library and validate. That's it. Here's our new mimic. We can now create text from the draw toolbar. Right click on the text and you access the properties. We can select a new font as follows 
and we can also change the appearance of our text to look like a button. The button is ready. We're going to animate it to control our light with a right click on the text element and open the animation item for access to a large selection of animations. Here we want to send a value for bit and to change the color of the button depending on the value sent. We'll select the animation send bit with color. Two tabs will appear in the text properties dialog box for animations. The bit send tab is used to enable the value bit when you click on the button. Click on the button beside the bit box to open the variable selector dialog. Then select the variable that is to be controlled. You can also set various options including a keyboard accelerator shortcut, etc. You can choose a color for each state of the bit. So click on the state and select the color from the basic color panel. You can also double click on the color swatch and select a fill mode. You can use solid, blinking, or gradient, and custom colors from the advanced menu. So the button we just created should be ready to go now. Let's try it out. It's easy to switch to the run mode and there's no need to restart the project. All you have to do is right click, select the toggle button from the pop-up menu, and here we go. The button is now animated. So now let's switch back to design mode. We're going to use copy and paste to create a reset button from our existing button on off. A smart way to change the properties of this button is to use the graphic explorer. This tool gives you quick access to a hierarchical view of all the elements of the mimic. Just click on your new button to access all its properties in the Graphic Explorer. You can even browse animations for the button, and if you double click on the object, you can access its properties. Change the text of the new button to Reset. Now select the name of the variable in the animations. We can switch to Run Mode and play the animation, and it works. As you saw previously, it's that easy to switch a mimic from design mode to run mode and back again. It is also possible to duplicate a mimic and then use it in a different mode. Here we show the same mimic in design mode on the right and run mode on the left. Now let's add a text to display the time of use for the light. Notice that the text is automatically displayed now in the other mimic. We're going to add an animation for this text to display a register value for our variable time. And now we select the animation text, display, register. And we will then select the time variable. You can select the format you want to use to display the value. This dialog helps you to define your format. Here you can search for the format in the help directory and then enter your format. We would like to display a period of time. And the source value will be measured in seconds. We can check the results. Let's play the animation. You can see the result on the runtime mode mimic. Okay, so now let's add an image for our light. We'll choose from the PC View Library. This one looks good. And what we'd like to do is display this image when the command is on. We will need to set up an animation. We'll use visibility and bit. And then we'll select the bit on off and select the visibility option. The image will be displayed when the command is turned on. Okay, so let's test it. And there you have it, the light is on. Our PCV project is now completed.
and thank you for joining PC View Solutions Tutorials.